Hey there, today I want to show you something really interesting and I know would be helpful to you guys, especially if you're starting or launching a business online. Having a website or a landing page should be one of your top priorities and trust me, with what I'm going to show you today, you'll have your web page clickable, live and active for your audience in less than a day. Now for this tutorial, I have finished my landing page and on your screen is what it looks like. We will be recreating it using the Canva platform, so stay with me through my editing process. For those of you who may not be so familiar with the terms yet, or maybe you've heard about it before, but doesn't know much about the differences, a landing page is normally a single web page, which contains all the most interesting information about your products and services. It is most commonly used by marketers when they have an ongoing campaign and they want to attract more visitors. Now, the first thing you want to do is to sign up to Canva for free that's if you don't have any account yet there is also so much more you can do with canva pro but since i'm doing a tutorial on creating a web landing page for free we're gonna stick to that and with the free canva plan you can already get access to a lot of features you may only consider upgrading to pro if you want to have all canvas premium elements moving on since the web format isn't on your front page you're gonna have to type website there are different formats for website the size and the kind of templates vary depending on your objective. For desktop web page, this is how it looks like. It is 1350 by 650 pixels, but we don't want to use it because we also need the page to be compatible with mobile. So I would recommend you to go for BioLink or mobile first website because it will be easier for us to make the adjustments. Website upshow campaigns is also the same as the first standard website, but it has more specific content in their templates. Like as you can see here, it has very few details with QR code. These ones are more applicable when you just really need a page to invite your visitors for an upcoming event or a special campaign launch. Okay. What I want to do is to have a landing page to put on my Instagram account. I want people to get an overview of what I do and to also promote my upcoming business. Basically, it is a page that has all the links directing to my YouTube page and to another website where my products are. So we'll go for BioLink site. Now it's time to choose our templates. You will find some premium and free templates. We're going to avoid the premium ones and of course in any way with the free ones we can't fully customize them so no worries at all. I want a really personalized landing page so I need a template that will allow me to add my photo in it. I'm okay with this one but let me open the other as well because I want to grab the social icons. And what's also good about Canva is that you can simply copy and paste some elements from one template to another. You can either press Ctrl key on your keyboard or copy using your mouse and it's going to paste on to our current editing board. Then I want to replace the text with my own. Let's say shop my templates, download my book and we can also add online courses. For the button, we can add link to it by clicking on this icon at the upper toolbar or if it's a text, you can head over to the three dots and find the same icon. Now here is another impressive part. We can easily grab and embed our YouTube videos on our landing page. We can just go to YouTube, connect and find your channel and then add your video. But I don't think I will need it right now, so I'll keep it for later. Okay. I'm just going to finish it off by adding my own photo and changing my background. Again, if you're not liking your first design, you can always come back and change it again. And that's it. You have a whole new website or landing page created in minutes. 
For your page to go live, I would advise you to first rename your file title because it's going to show on top of your link. Click share website and choose the scrolling. Okay, now because we don't want to use the entire Canva link and paste it on our profile, what we can do is to create a Linktree account or Switchy or Bitly, whatever your preference is. But Linktree is most commonly used by Instagram influencers to have their links all together in one place. So this is how it looks like. And then simply copy and paste your link and it will generate a short and decent link for you. Now you can paste your link anywhere to your pages for more visibility. And that's it. Hope you guys learned something today. For more reviews, demo, or tutorials, make sure to subscribe on Cupanad's channel and follow my socials as linked below.